Hi everyone and welcome back to the old so-and-so. Well, I've been working in that garage. Today I worked five hours. Um, I can definitely walk out of the garage down the steps without worrying about falling down. And I, um, as I was filling the bins and stacking them, I came across this. Now, um, do I remember where I got it? No, it's just like the other day, I um, had this box and it had um, some old planters in it, the dirt, everything, and Todd and I both do not know where we found it. But um, I had to look in this box and look, it's ephemera. Um, do I know what's in here? No, but look at the stamp. Um, I thought you guys might be interested in this. Look at that. They wrote so pretty. Look at the stamp. Um, so there's several, I, I would say there's letters. Um, I have no idea what's in them. This was 1931. Hmm. A happy new year. Um, I don't know if you guys like, a, you know, postcards and old letters. I love them. I don't know why. Um, I got this one. And look at that. It's so pretty. And that's a, a one cent stamp that's green. So let's see, that's just a regular letter. This was a new year. This is just a regular postcard. Here's another one. That's just a regular postcard. What is this one? Aw, man, I could have used that. Does it say a date? 1923. That one's cute. I like that. Here's another one. Here's an Easter card. That one's cute. Um, oh, that's cute. Does it say the date? Um, now, I am terrible about it. So, I'm going to see if you guys... Can you see that? Does it look like it's 1830? Surely goodness not. Um, I do have a magnifying glass. Hold on. Um, I found a bunch of stuff out in that garage today and this was one of them, but that's how come I knew exactly where it was. Let's see. Well, it looks like a two, one, two, three, six, and I know that that's not right. All right, so we'll keep going. That's an Easter. Oh, how sweet is this? This little, wait, how do you do that? It moves. See on back, that's cute. Valentine's, I know where that's gonna go. Oh, this one's sweet, look at that. <laughs> Let's see, does it move? No, no, but that's cute. Um, there's another Valentine's. Let's see, Valentine's pile. Here's a Christmas one. Now I don't know if I have a, uh, um, a pile for the Christmas, but I'll make one just in case. I had to come in and sit down. What is this one? Oh, this is a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Um, now, I don't know if you guys ever pick these up, but they look great in like a, a wood box. Um, I don't wanna bore you guys. 
And what's this one? Um, Christmas. <laughs> um, but I was racking my brain trying to figure out where I purchased these. Um, and it's so funny. Look, Route 8. Isn't that funny how uh, mail back then, it would just go with the smallest amount of um, um, address. Um, all righty, here's another Christmas. Wouldn't it be great if I could find some money in here? <laughs> That'd be amazing. Oh, that's a Christmas one. That's pretty. Look. Um, I'm sure I got it at an estate sale or something. What's this one? Oh. Huh. Maybe these are all Christmas. This one's thick. Oh. So these are, I guess, you know, people used to save everything. Well, that's sweet. Look. I think I'm going to have to have my glasses cleaned. I know. You want me to open it? These are really... Look. That one's pretty. And this is an unusual stamp. Oh, I like that stamp. Do you guys know anybody that collects stamps? Because I got two bins out there that... I need somebody to purchase some. <laughs> okay, so what is this? Oh, wait, here's the address. Wait, where's it going? Oh, Hickory. And it was from... I don't know who that is. It's a ladder. Oh. You know, when was the last time you sent a ladder? Um... I believe the last time that I sent a letter. Uh, oh, look how pretty inside. Man, they just don't make stationery pretty anymore. Um, my youngest son was in boot camp. Oh, look how tiny. Look how sweet. What is this? Oh, it's just a little card. 1931. Um, because when he was in boot camp um you couldn't call you couldn't text nothing so todd and i got really good at sending letters we'd send him a letter every day um i know <laughs> i don't know a lot of this is quite it's kind of neat Look at the inside of that one. Um, I don't know. Um, trying to figure out what I need to do. Oh, that's pretty. I need to go to. Okay, guys. So remember now. Um, I couldn't walk out here for a while. Look. Now, I can tell the difference. Matter of fact, I can walk out. Look, I cleaned that out. And look, I can walk down the stairs without worrying if I'm going to trip. Now, I know you can't tell, but um, I have rows. So the back row, I can get back there perfectly fine. Um, I know I have, I had to repair a table while I was here. Um, but I know it's, it's kind of like a, a treasure. You never know what's going to be back there. Furniture. I had to lift that chair. That thing was heavy. Um, I don't know. There's so much out here. And I want to take those to the show. These are some kind of special molds where you... Um, put them in the ground or something and you pour. But look, how nice is that? They're heavy. 
But, I mean, what about that as a riser? You know? Look, I got a huge bag and another huge bag. And slowly but surely. Now, I know this is probably a little... It's a lot for a lot of you. Sometimes I think it's a lot for me. But I just wanted you to see it now because I'm going to be back out here again tomorrow. I got boxes I've got to get rid of. <sighs> Things that we've gotten at estate sales. Oh, my gosh. Beds. And that's going outside. Things that I need to repair. Look. This is a beautiful clock, but I need to repair this side. Look how pretty. I love stuff like that. Alrighty, so what else are we gonna get in today? I hope you stay tuned. I am so excited. Look, I can walk in and shut the door without a problem. Alrighty, hold on. All right, I'm out in uh, the garage. It's another day. Um, I um, Sometimes I think I bite off more than I can chew. Um, I thought I had the row nice and neat, and then I thought, wait, I need this for the show. Oh, wait, it's in that corner. Oh, I need that for the show. But it's... I know it doesn't look straight and organized but stay tuned it's going to look so much better um i'm just trying to get the stuff out for the shows and some of it's in that far corner and i always wear gloves when i'm out in the garage um just in case they're spiders because i don't like spiders so um, I also have a little metal, let me turn this camera around, it's a lot easier. That little metal house I'd like to take, um, and that is a corn sheller. We had three, we're only down to one, but, um... I have, I have so many bins, and I probably could use more. Um, and then, and then, my husband comes home with these yesterday. Which, yes, they'll be great for Christmas and Halloween. But I need to start making a pile for them so so we're back here in this corner i think i want to take this window frame um um i'm not sure if i need that table but i need those ladders and i think i definitely need some of the stuff over there so I've got to rearrange it. So let me back out just a little bit. Alrighty. So you see this, this shelf like thing. Um, I think I'm going to uncover that and cut it in half and make two shelves, which I think will be a whole lot better. Um, and I wish I could find somewhere in my booth to take those chairs. They're very nice. They were in the living room for a little while. Um, alrighty. And then, that's a desk. <laughs> that's about as pink as it can be. Um, and I also have, um signage I need to take and these guys I'm gonna have to clean them up um 
I got to drag that rug out. And that was like black. Yesterday I scrubbed on that thing. Um, I got a truck um, bed full of beds that I didn't need. Um, and they started to fall apart. So what I did, let me get on this for a second. <clears throat> I cut the, uh, the spindles out of them. I think that'd be great. So I'm going to get busy. Got windows. Um, I don't know. I think if anybody that is watching this and you are thinking about a booth or you have a booth, um, <laughs> the best thing, my suggestion is, by my mistakes, is price it when you bring it in. Have an area for Christmas or fall or Easter or kitchen or 4th of July or whatever. So you're not going through what I'm going through right now. Um, I've set aside about seven more days to work on this. Um, so this is just like a, a daily update. Let me see how much I can get done today. All right, I'm back out here again another day. And um, I've made progress. I do have some things that I need to work on. So let me turn this camera around again. Wrong button, Susan. Wake up. It's like the wall of bins. <laughs> All righty. So, um, I think this row is finished. I just have to take these ba uh, bags inside and make sure that they are priced. Um, this row, I've gone through everything. I've sorted. I know it still looks like a mess. Um, I got to take that bag in. Those go to, um, the trailer. We use the chairs for Easter dinner. And then I've got to put my Easter stuff away. Um, I've got these that I need to take in, make sure they're priced. That goes to the trailer. And, um, so this row's pretty good. Alrighty. I mean, let's look. Let me pull back this way. Look, I could have not done that several days ago. Um, a lot of this pile, um, not the crate, but that goes to the thrift store and I need to work on this area, but, um, a lot of this goes to the trailer. The quilts go to the trailer. I've got to finish, um, this shelf, I'm gonna cut it in half because it has seven, it has seven um, shelves. So um, I'm thinking I might cut it about right in here. So um, it makes it a little bit more, I don't know, I don't know what you want to call it. Easier to move. You know, some people don't need a tall shelf like that. So, um, I'm going to um, plug away. Hopefully, hopefully the day will be the day that I am finished. Because I need to work inside. Um, and I need to pack 
my truck to take stuff to Antiques on 231. So, let's see what I can um, get done. But now, I am curious about this one piece. Um, and I've seen it for a while. And I know you have too because I did point it out. This. Alrighty. I want to take it in. And I had a, I had a thought. Um, let me just shut that door because it's cold outside today. We had a storm and my kitchen's a mess. But, um, let me get this, uh, this one thing. So, don't go anywhere. All right, we're back in. All right, these, they were some kind of mold and I, I don't think that they would put sand or something and press these in, pull these out, and then somehow pour plastic. I don't know exactly what they were for, but anyway. But I had looked at this for so long and I have so many different size cloche. You know, I've got small ones, big ones, but I had this big, big one. I had purchased and I'm almost, I baby this thing because it is so beautiful. Um, but then I was looking at this and I'm like, I think it's going to be perfect for this. So look, it is perfect. Let me be careful and look at that. I mean, I can think of so many things that I could put on here. See, it has a little, has a little give, but I mean, it's like perfect. You sit it on a, a dresser or somewhere, um, I could put, Christmas stuff under there, fall, um, a bird's nest. Alrighty guys, so I think I'm gonna stop this video. Um, but I have so much. I've got to price all of this right here. Um, put up the Easter stuff. Um, and then I've got to pack the back of my truck ready for tomorrow. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I hope to see you on our next video. So stay tuned.